I'm asking for your support. Please go to Amazon.com and order my Greedy Aphids in the Ellie Blackberry Garden book um, for your children or uh, for a Christmas gift for one of the children that you will are uh, giving out Christmas gifts for this Christmas season. I really appreciate it supporting me in ordering my book. The, the children will love it. It is a beautiful book. Very illustrated, really beautiful dedication to my father and Ellie is a beautiful little girl. Hi, welcome back to Shirley DIY Design. Today I am going to take this face and paint. Um, you're gonna need some gloss. This is apple barrel gloss, dark gray paint. I got it from Walmart. And you're gonna need some decoupage. And you need some wax paper from Dollar Tree. And we gonna marble out this face. You can do marble with any color of uh, acrylic gloss paint and wax paper. You do, any color you want this face to be, you will go and get that gloss paint, acrylic paint. And it comes from Walmart for like 50 cents. And you will take your glass, base, jar, anything glass that you want to marble out and you will paint it the color you want it to look, be marble. And then once it is dry, you will come back with the decoupage and the wax paper, and it's gonna marble, it, give it a marble fit. So, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint your glass, whatever glass you're doing, completely. Let it dry and then come back with the decoupage and the wax paper. This is my original own um, technique. I came up with this technique. I didn't get it from anyone. I just thought about how will it come out and how will it look and so I tried it and it worked. I used it on a, um, a bottle uh, that my son gave me and I did a rose gold one. It's inside my description box on my videos and it's the same technique I'm doing to this vase. And I did it in rose gold but today I want to do one in this gray, this gloss dark gray, and uh, show you that you can use any color, any kind of glass, any glass object, frame, whatever you want to do. Give it a marble effect, bottle, wine bottle, alcohol bottle, any bottle you want. Know. As long as it's glass, you can get that effect. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll come back with the wax paper. Now that the vase is all painted and dry, you just gonna uh, need to decoupage. Pour some out. And a brush. I got some glitter because I might add a lot of glitter on it. I'm not sure. And you're going to need to cut up your wax paper into little fine pieces. Like little pieces like that. And what you're going to do is get you some deco pie. Apply it to your base. Stick your wax paper on it. And then you're going to coat your wax paper. Just like that. And you're gonna continue this to the whole vase. You wanna cover the whole vase. So it's okay if you overlap it. And you're gonna keep on until you complete it. I'm not gonna do the whole vase 
own video because it will be too long because this is time consuming so I'm gonna go ahead and cover the base almost till I'm at the very end then I'm gonna come back and finish it up let you see me finish it up so and just keep going there's it's, it's, it's there's no right, wrong way or right way to apply it. It just make sure you put the deco part on the vase first and then stick your paper, your wax paper to the vase and then get more deco part and cover it, the wax paper. And that's it. And just keep going until the whole base is finished. Okay, I'm back and I pretty much finished the base. I'm sorry. I'm going back over and I'm checking it, making sure I cover it the jar really good, then leave out a spot out. So I'm going around right right here. That doesn't have a piece of wax paper and my double pod. So what I'm gonna do? Pick up a piece, place it around the bottom, and cover the double pod like that. So. I wanted to come back and share the finishing the, to finish the result of it. Like right here. Put in some double pod. Then I'm finding a size wax paper that'll fit in that and um making sure I cover it and dab it with the being generous with the deco pod on the vase. So, and making sure your ends are really coated and really laying down flat. And right in here, like here, is a spot. And I add a piece right in there. And cover it with the wax paper. And the wax paper in there is going to give it the marble effect. And I did sprinkle a little glitter through it. That's what giving it a little shine. I haven't sprinkled it here on the bottom. So I'm going to show you I just sprinkle a tiny bit. Not heavy, very light. Very light. And I just rolled it around. And give you a little glitter. Back. And this is very extra fine glitter. That is that that will I want to use anything that's um any glitter that will be big. I will only use the fine glitter. Because you want it just to be sparkled through the marble effect. You don't want it to be overpowering. And after you do sprinkle, you also want to go back over. Once it's dry, you want to go back over with the decoupage. Just to seal it in like that. But when it dry, the shine, the shimmer of the glitter will still come through. So you want to go back over it and seal in everything. So I'm gonna let the jar dry, and then I'm gonna just go back over it one last time with the decoupage. And once it's dry, I give you the last finger finish result. Because see how this has dried up here. This part is dry, so it's more of a marble effect. And you can see this is still wet. 
so you don't see the marble pit. As it starts to dry, you start to see your marble pit come through. And when it's completely dry, then you see your marble effect. So that's how you make a vase or a glass, any glass, turn into a marble effect. I wanted to video a close up so you can see the details of the marble. How the wax paper makes the marble look on the bike cast of the gray um, painted glass face. I'm loving it. It's so beautiful. Just wanted to be able to show you a close up view. The finished look of the vase and I think it came out beautiful and I think it would be a great access piece to the any room and it also give you something different to do on your glass vase or your glass jars or bottles that you want to decorate with Instead of just having plain clear glass vase, you can have a conversation piece with this. And I think it came out very beautiful. Thank you for watching my video. And please like and subscribe. And please remember to go to Amazon.com and purchase my children book. The Greedy Aphids and Ellie Blackberry Guard. Please go and order a copy of my book. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And remember to subscribe and like. God bless.